In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear siblings in Christ, as we gather here today within the walls of St. Mark's Cathedral, in our very special place on this earth in the city of Minneapolis, in the state of Minnesota, we are here to profound message from Matthew. And with great hope, I hear in this passage and cannot help but imagine and think about the transformative journey ahead of us. A journey we're going to walk together, a pursuit, and a question that we're going to ask each other, who are we called to be? A hopeful and life-giving transition of a faith community, grounded by the gospel and fueled by our love of God's church, and this cathedral community. The journey together will discover the scripture, the treasures within it, the actions and words of Jesus Christ, sometimes in hidden messages that need to be unpacked, and sometimes not, and applying them to our lives together as we look to the future and this beloved community that is called our cathedral. In the gospel today, we witness a pivotal moment in Jesus' life where he reveals his upcoming suffering, death, and resurrection. And in hearing this, his very good friend Peter is legitimately scared. And his response reflects his fragile humanity. Let's avoid suffering and pain and profound loss. I do not want to lose my good friend. Jesus lovingly, but quite directly, corrects Peter, teaching him that embracing the cross is essential discipleship, and in doing so, all shall be well. Not without challenge, not without pain, but it shall be well. St. Mark stands at this moment of change, just as Christ foresaw his impending journey to the cross, knowing he was about to do something new, our community is on a journey to something new. To learn from Peter's initial resistance and to realize that embracing change, even if challenging, we can together lead into remarkable growth and beautiful new awakenings. Take up your cross and follow me, Jesus declares. This call to deny ourselves and follow him applies to our community today and every day. As we face the winds of change, we may have circumstances where we relinquish our old ways or be open to the opportunities not yet identified. I ask all of us, when faced with change, ask the questions of ourselves. What is God up to now in our community? What is God up to now in our lives together? Whose are we and what are we called to be? As a community to each other, a Loring Park neighbor in our city, our diocese, and our state. St. Mark's is on the threshold of transformation. Just as the disciples lived, where lives were forever changed by their commitment to Christ, our future is shaped by how we answer this call in this season of change. It may require us to deny our detachment or our attachment to outdated structures, perhaps embrace new innovations, but it will for sure require us to follow Christ's lead into a hopeful and beautiful future. The good news is he has gone before us and Jesus promises that the Son of Man will come in his glory, rewarding each person according to their deeds. This promise echoes in the heart of our work to come in the hopeful community transformation that we have in front of us. Our efforts together, our sacrifices, 
how we care for each other, and our commitment to God's church will not go unnoticed. During the Cathedral of St. Mark's transition, we must, we must clean to that promise. Just as Jesus' glory was revealed after his suffering, so too shall our cathedral's renewed spirit and purpose shine forth. The hard work we invest in this transformation will yield in a glorious harvest, and the seeds of change we plant today will bloom and build on the foundation of an already vibrant, flourishing, and beautiful community of faith. In this pivotal moment, let us envision St. Mark's as a beacon of hope in God's world, in Minneapolis, and in this beautiful state of Minnesota, and always in each other's lives. Just as Christ promised of his coming in glory fueled the disciples' resolve, Christ-centered, so too must our cathedral embrace a hopeful vision of transition, an inspired journey. Just as Peter's initial misunderstanding gave way to profound understanding, I believe our transition together will build on the present and lead to a rich and vibrant beloved community of tomorrow and long into the future. My friends, no matter how challenging, how painful, or whatever the struggle, remember that our journey is for us to walk but is not about us. Our transformation reflects our ability to seek the gospel's power to transform lives. And it's about sharing the hope of Christ with each other and with those around us. More good news. That's the cathedral I know. We have all the tools to do what we need to do today, tomorrow, and in the future. Beloved, as we pray on the message of Matthew and consider the transition and hope-filled future of St. Mark's, let us be united in the purpose and in faith. The cross reminds us of the sacrifice that lead to resurrection. The call to deny self-echoes in the pursuit of transformation. The promise of Christ's glory sustains us now and in all times of change. Let us hold on to Christ's words both as individuals and as a faith community. Just as he transformed his disciples' lives, he is transforming ours and the life of our cathedral. As we journey together, may we embody the hope of Christ, embracing our Savior with hearts full of faith, and boldly step into a bright and promising future that God already has prepared for us. In Jesus' name, amen. amen.